tell you, one of the cool things about this project is kind of how it's evolved. Uh, in a way, we called it the movement a while back, and the characters we're filming and the people involved in the production have grown and built their own momentum as this thing has gone on. We want to welcome back Greg Hamilton, the writer and the director of The Movement. Thank you for coming. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Brent. Thank a you. A lot has happened since the last time we talked to you. I'm Greg Hamilton, the writer director of The Movement. and We are here premiering the movie in Boulder, Colorado. This is actually my writing and directorial debut. Um, I'm hooked. Uh, as, as Rick said, <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your experience at Sundance, because you guys did really well there. It was fantastic. We had five public screenings and then two different high school screenings. Great questions from kids wanting to know how somebody who's blind might learn to ski, how somebody who can't use their legs would learn how to ski, mm -hmm. uh, and some film people who appreciated some of the, the cinema that went into it. For me as the writer-director, it's nice to be here at CineQuest rubbing elbows with other filmmakers because there is a craft to this. There are decisions to be made. There's even casting decisions to decide when this is done. We want to make sure that we're telling a real story. It's a documentary, but also that this story is engaging and real and that it takes people on a journey and they feel what these people are feeling. Chris Waddell was giving me his uh, travel schedule, his speaking schedule. He spoke in front of 35,000, 40,000 kids. Uh, You've got your own film out there that's on the festival circuit right now. And if I'm not mistaken, you won your first two festivals right out of the gates. So we did. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, from your side, why did you make a movie about what you do? The reason that I made a movie was because I, I felt like I felt like people didn't get the real story. I felt like as as an as an individual with a disability, there were a lot of times that I had to educate somebody one on one. How did we choose the characters in the movie? Uh, uh, she mentions Chris Waddell is a Park City local. Um, as a matter of fact, just about the entire film cast and crew has been staying on Chris's floor over the last seven days. Uh, and the people that are up here are each in their own ways doing what they can to make a difference. You know, Mike May is an entrepreneur who's created GPS systems for the blind. Uh, he's really making a difference. If you're out there enjoying flying down the mountain with everybody else, and I want to share that with other blind people, with other sighted people, and this film is an opportunity to do that. Uh, search your soul, find out what you're passionate about. I know it's paid out for Kurt and I, especially with uh, the rea reaction we got tonight in Boulder, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just get out there, find what you're good at, what you're excited to do, and uh, start your own movement. Greg and I have had more fun. We've been on track. You know, what I mean? there's thousands of hours, two, a year and a half of filming. So I want all the good stuff. You're just showing kind of the mediocre stuff. I want some of that powder shots over the head. Jim, all you kept telling me was put that camera down and let's go ski. 